Hello again and welcome to the Rat Splatting Division of the Squirrel Hunter channel. Bro and I go to the rat farm tonight, so I'll leave it up to him to open the proceedings. Nicely taken headshot there, under the pallet by the grain store that I located in the last video. Nice bit of helicopter tail. And a few kicks. This one's dead. This one looks a little bit shy and stays towards the back of the pallet, thinking he's safe. The bro gets impatient and shoots him in the head there anyway. This one jumps about a bit and dies just off screen. And there we have the pellet about to connect with his head just to the right of his eye. Another nice headshot from bro as that rat takes a sniff at a carcass I left there. Like all good Tarantino wannabe movies, it's all out of sequence, and you'll see me shoot that one later on. So you'll have to bear with me for the minute. And just watch this one kick its last, bit of helicopter tail. But the Webley Parapel's done his job. And he's dead. Here we have another rat taking a sniff at the carcass. Bro's about to demonstrate just why he is my bro. We're genetically related on two counts. Firstly, he can't count, same as me. And secondly, he can reload one pellet just as quick as I can and make it count. Nice headshot there, bro. Well done, mate. Looks like he's trying to kick over a little rat motorbike there. Where we sit to look under this pallet, the angle we get and the height of our guns off the ground gives a good view right to the back under the shed. Now, I've already shot this earlier on in the session, which you'll see in a minute. And this is the end of the evening, and they're getting a bit more nervy, so this one's staying right back under the shed. Having a sniff, or he might be munching on something, but he doesn't seem to want to come further forward. So Bro just takes him a nice hard head shot anyway. I spot this one, behind bro with my monocular and point him out. Bro hits with a high body shot. And that's him. Dead. Right, over to me. And this is what I saw. I just turned about half past five, quarter to six. There's activity immediately on darkness. So I sit there for a while. My first opportunity comes right to the back of the pallet. They start to stick their nose out from under the shed. can't see any sign of him moving, but it was a good headshot. And I spot this fella, peeking out. Small rat, you can see his legs hanging out. Nice and dead. Then they start to get a bit more adventurous. Give me even better shots. Still helicoptering. When contemplating taking the second shot, then he expires. So now I move to another favourite location of mine and catch this fellow trying to cross. I go for the body shot, it wasn't quite perfect, so I quickly reload. But it was good enough to stop him a couple of feet away. So I'll make sure I finish him off with a headshot. Then I move the body back into the track, hoping to waylay some more rats. Back to the pallet again. And sometimes you have to be really patient with these rats. Just to get that perfect shot. That's a particularly fat one.
He starts to jump about a bit and rather kindly flops into view. He breathes his last. Yep, he's dead. Activity was pretty slow around this area compared to last time. And that one I just missed. There's no activity in that area. It's all centred around this pallet. Scanning with my monocular, I spot this fellow running through the bushes and stand to take this shot. I freehand him. I go for the headshot, and the shot looks good. Stopped him dead in his tracks there. So I reload just in case. A few kicks, a few twitches, a bit of helicopter tail. So I'm pretty sure it's a nice headshot. Did contemplate taking a second insurance shot. I don't think there's any need really. This one's dead. So I go over to check the body. He's laying on this piece of wire. Nice trail of blood where he's flipped around, bleeding from the head wound. So I roll him over to see the damage that Super Mag's done. And it's punched a really nice big hole in the top of his head. Maximum damage, nice clean kill. Only when I start to look at it in the editing process do I realise he's had his ears badly chewed. Looks like he's done about 25 rounds with the rat Mike Tyson. So I go for a wander to an area we don't normally shoot and spot this fella and drop him a nice headshot. There's quite a lot of rats running around. This is where the ducks are kept. I don't normally go in this area. As you can see that one went to the left and I try to track it. Before I get a chance for a shot, he legs into the bushes. Better than next time. To the right of the shed, this one sticks his head up. And I knock him straight back down again. Now I did go for a headshot here. I didn't realise until I reviewed this video. It's actually a high body shot. You can see the blood start to run out of his shoulder. So just check my aim for the headshot. I must have wobbled a bit. So I'm scanning the area with the NS50 for the extra range it affords. And I think I've spot another rat. It's actually one I've already shot. It's the first one I've shot in this area. So I set up to have a look at it. I'm just in view, another one sticks his head out. To have a look at some blood by the look of it. And unfortunately, I turn the recording device off. But that's the aftermath. A nice little bit of helicopter tail. You can see him just to the side of the door there. This area was absolutely alive with the things. They were running in all directions and I never knew which way to point the rifle next. Back to the right of the shed, the dead body beneath him, licking at some blood, I take another nice headshot. No mistake in there. Bit of a lame attempt at the helicopter tail. Bit of a kick at the back legs. He's dead. And here he is, lay on top of his friend. Nice bit of rat stacking, if I do say so myself. The rats were moving thick and fast. You can see the heads bobbing in and out. Not hanging around some of them. Another one stayed far too long for their own good. It looks like he's stone dead, that one. And I turn the recording device off, then have to turn it back on again to capture a nice bit of helicopter tail. And a few backflips. This one's dead. This small duck pond in the middle turns out to be an excellent place to find rats and I drop this one into it with a nice headshot. He sinks a little bit as I reload, kicks a bit, stone dead. I spot this one to the right. This is a very popular location this was by these nettles. I've been a little trauma with my magazine, so I've taken the magazine out. And with the one shot I got up the spout, I drop it into the edge of the pond. We spot another rat in the background making a hasty exit. I put the magazine back in and reloaded. It. It's all good. But the most energetic helicopter tail I've seen in a long time. And a quick scan around for another opportunity. That little one. The spot up the field, that's about 25 yards away. You can see the rats dropping at the shed in the background. And back to the first shed. I've moved all the dead bodies out, just to make some more room. And that one must have been licking at blood. Nice headshot. Stone dead. This was another failure to operate the recording device correctly. But this was the aftermath of the helicopter tail. 
another one bites the dust. Another nice headshot, licking at his comrade on the edge of the pond. Like I said before, this was a, quite a good location. He's dead. Back over to the pallet again. Not hanging around. So I go back to the duck pond area again. I'm tracking this one. There's one opportunity goes away, and another one presents itself. It's a really big fat one. Stone dead with a nice headshot. This one's taken a sprint for the water and stops in the middle of the field. Nice head impact there. He kicks a bait. I'll take an insurance shot just to be on the safe side as the wind starts to blow. There was quite a lot of movement. I couldn't quite work out where they were going to. I only assume they were sat behind the nettles or in the nettles. And you see some in the background, some in the sheds. I spot these two playing. It looks like they're playing anyway. So it seems to be a game. You chase me, I'll chase you. This is about 30 yards, as I paced it to after. They're still messing around. This one is doing something, quite sure what. But unfortunately for him, I don't mess about. Another nice head impact, another dead rat. The quick scan to the left to see his friend pops out. But one will do. Nice little bit of a helicopter tail there. But another dead rat. And here he is, a nice 30 yard headshot. Probably the longest one I've done on a rat at this place. And the ducks decide to get up and have a wander around. A bit like teenagers, really. Noisy, smelly, and don't want to go to bed. I can't do a lot with them there. They're putting the rats off. So you just have to have it. Just have to wait till they go. So I scan over to the right, where the ducks aren't. And I spot this little fellow running around. So I stand up, try and pick him up. And I can't work out where he went to. Eventually, I spot one up here. I don't know if it's the same one, but it's a little bit further up. I managed to hit that with a high body shot. It looks like I've stoned him there. I reload. As I watch, he does a nice few backflips. With a helicopter tail. I was contemplating taking a second shot. Looks like the first shot did the damage. A few more kits in the grass. And he's dead. And here he is. See the impacts, nice high body shot, and he's quartering away, so that would have gone into his heart, lungs, back of the brain area, depending on the angle. I spot this one out in the field to my left. Don't know what he's eating. But he's not eating it anymore. There's two in the background quickly focus on thinking I'll get a second shot. It looks like they're going to stay still then they start to run towards me and they leg it off camera. So I go back to the shed in the background. I can see a few wandering around. Can't quite see his head properly. I can get that one. Nice high body shot there. And this when the foreground runs in. I stone him with a nice head shot. That's two not very well rats there. One twitching his tail in the background, the other one doing a few flips in the foreground. Be expired if you have that tray. That one's dead under the edge of the shed. Another shed with quite a few half grown rats underneath it. There's a lot of wire between us, and I'm looking at the gaps. I think there's a gap in the V in the middle. One sticks his head in. By that head impact, pellets made its mark. 
quick reload. You can see him flipping around. There he goes. I'm still looking at the rat's eyes. I'm looking for gaps in the wire. I think there might be one. Just there. Another nice head impact. You'll see another body flipping around. I'll make it three out of three. No, I hit the shed and miss. And there they are. There's the two I took there. Stone dead. Another shed, another set of eyes, another head impact. The chickens sit quite well in their coop and won't come out. But unfortunately for me, the ducks don't. They're on the move again. They wander around. I still see rats in this shed. This one here. I'm tempted to take the shot. These ducks run around so quickly. They really are a pain when it comes to shooting rats. So I'm forced to look on. Rather than take the shot. I think they're inside the chicken coop, stealing the chicken's food. So they probably are a lot like teenagers, really. It's tempting. You can see them wandering around. I don't want to hurt any livestock. All the ducks have wandered off now except this one lone duck stealing the last bit of chicken food. So this rat sticks his nose out and I shoot him. There's no danger to the livestock in my opinion there. So I took a shot. Another one appears. And he goes the same way as his mate. Quick scan about. But that's my lot for the evening. It's a quick family snapshot of all the rats we shot this evening that we could retrieve successfully, which the owner said he'd incinerate. Boom! Maybe not quite like that, but you get the idea. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe.